Hello friends, is this a case of posterior capsular rent or is this a case of zonular dialysis? This was the dilemma in with which I was faced when I was operating upon this developmental cataract which had a dense nucleus of pallocins in the center. Let's observe how the capsular rexus as well as the nucleus disassembly progressed. Now the problem started when I attempted to implant the intraocular lens. This was a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens and I'm using undue amount of force in order to coax the trailing haptic inside the capsular bag. Remember that sometimes it's better to dial the trailing haptic into the bag rather than just push it in a posterior direction. Now when I attempt pivot rotation, there's a resistance to pivot rotation as you can see. And then I forcefully turn the lens slightly. You can see that when I rotate the lens, there is an abnormal flash of reflex. This is seen in slow motion that occurs at that point. What exactly happened here? Is it a zonular dialysis or is it a posterior capsular rent? I was not sure about what exactly the problem was because it happened so suddenly. However, when I came out of the eye, I found that the intraocular lens was decentering inferiorly. I took a decision to implant a capsule tension ring. The first time I attempted to put the ring, the leading loop simply bounced off the IOL optic and went into the sulcus. 
I re-attempted the insertion, this time taking a more steep angle of entry and I was able to get the capsule tension ring within the capsular bag. I was threading the ring gently into the capsular bag. Then using a Sinsky hook, I attempted the final insertion, but the ring slipped. Because the trailing eyelet was visible to me, I tried to re-engage it with the Sinsky hook from, with a, from underneath the sub-incisional area but the ring kept slipping and with a little amount of effort I was able to get the ring finally into the capsular bag. But even after performing this maneuver of getting the capsule tension ring within the bag, the lens did not center itself. It is at this point that I realized what the real pr problem was that when I tried to dial this, I found that the leading loop had punched a hole in the equator of the capsular bag and when I pulled it out of this small hole that it created and dialed it to the horizontal position then the lens automatically centered. So the discussion here is an inferiorly subluxating intraocular lens because most often the cause is probably a break in the posterior capsule because if there was an inferior zonal dialysis the lens would have decentered in the upward direction secondly the edge of the capsular axis would also show the D sign none of this was present and I missed the subtle signs which is the reason why a capsule tension ring went in and finally I deducted what the problem was and I set it right and everything came to a good conclusion. I thank you for your attention.